One of the great weaknesses of humanity, I believe, is our eagerness, our over-willingness to be hypercritical of ourselves, thinking about what we say, how we look, the way we talk. We're always our own worst enemy, that little voice in our head that tells us we're never gonna be good enough or we're ugly, all these things. And I have to zoom out sometimes and remind myself, you know what, Leanne, you're not that bad. And for you watching this right now, it's likely justified. You are a disgusting troll. But fortunately, with the proliferation of the internet, we now have all the chances in the world to just deflect all that self-judgment and judge other people on the internet anonymously. And that's what we're here to do today. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new breast implant filled with pork fried rice instead of saline. My name is Leon Lush and it's an absolute treat to have you here today. Now I know you've heard of the Jubilee YouTube channel, like Cut, they do these social experiments that get a ton of views and they pride themselves on, you know, talking about tough topics that help build empathy for your fellow human. And sure, I'll buy that, but also they get a ton of views and we all know that views equal money, baby. Well, they have this series called Ranked and recently they did a video where they get five girls to judge the outfits and style of five gen gentlemen and rank them one through five and then they flip it inversely in the five guys rank the five girls one through five based on their outfit and style. Now as someone who got a haircut less than six hours ago and is wearing a DGK t-shirt at 35 years old, I'm clearly the godfather of fashion. So I'm gonna watch through these, critique their choices. You're gonna watch with me. Anyone who disagrees with me is wrong because like I said, King Kong ain't got sh on me. I don't know if that movie quote worked, but even if there's a 50% chance it did, training day's too good to pass up an opportunity to use it. King Kong ain't got sh on me. Okay, the first lineup's out and they got 10 minutes to rank themselves one through five. I'm gonna do the appropriate rankings in my head first. Yeah, got it. I think when it comes to style, like the intention is what's the most important part. Like, Absolutely. The cuffs on the on the shirt over there, I like how you rolled that up. This is just super interesting and different, but yeah. like yeah. you put intention yeah. behind it. See, George is going the safe route right now. He's talking about, oh, style is all about intention, which really opens it up to interpretation, which in fact is completely true why this whole thing is stupid in the first place, because style is almost 100% subjective. For example, while George here thinks the plaid suit with the flood pants, bare ankles, and loafer look is gonna make the lady sweat. Wound. I see a guy who's a Wall Street bro during the week with a wife and kids and a white picket fence who spends his weekends going to Diplo concert blowing strangers in the bathroom after putting four and a half grams of yip up his nose. It's subjective though, like I said. What's not subjective, however, is being comfortable as hell while your style game stays turned up, which is why it's serendipitous that today's video is sponsored by Mack Weldon. Mack Weldon continues to be my go-to for comfortable men's essentials for every occasion. And with spring in full bloom right now after a horrendous 2020, I know we're all itching to get out there and start living again. Whether I'm lounging with a book in their dry knit crew neck or I'm headed out to play 18 holes with the boys in their pink Vesper polo, their clothes are the perfect combination of comfort and style. Their ace line of sweatpants is the perfect complement as well, changing the paradigm of what versatile sweatpants look and feel like. Their secret is the wide range of custom fabrics and technologies they use to deliver a unique quality that is obvious the second you try them on, an actual game changer for men's essentials. I'm not lying, I've replaced my entire underwear drawer with their air knit boxer briefs and I'm never looking back. Not only are they versatile, but the shopping experience is intuitive and easy, so it's not a chore to upgrade your wardrobe in just a few clicks. They even have a custom loyalty program called Weldon Blue that gets you 20% off every order and free shipping on everything after you spend your first $200. But the proof is in the pudding, as my pops used to say. So if you don't like your first pair of underwear for whatever reason, you get to keep them, but they'll refund you fully. So it makes it easy to take that first step. To make it even easier, you can get 20% off right now by going to macweldon.com slash Leon Lush, filling up your cart with some stuff you like and using my code Leon Lush at checkout. I'm not kidding. I've gotten emails from other guys thanking me for introducing them to Mack Weldon once they've tried some of their clothes. You won't regret it and your body will thank you. I appreciate you. This is just super interesting and different, but yeah. like yeah. you put intention yeah. behind mm -hmm. it. So. You should be top, top or, yeah, three. Like, Without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. I came today because I was like, I like want to put on like my best outfit. And That's so yeah. I feel, I feel happy yeah. and I feel yeah. good in my outfit. All right, let's fucking, let's cool it with the like, let's automatically usher the libidical Pless guy all the way to the top because we don't want to be accidentally homophobic on camera. All right, let's call it what it is. I'm not saying it's a bad outfit, but right out of the gates that was just like a, oh yeah hey you you should be in the first number one spot you and then we'll talk shit about each other after that like come 
on. Let's, we can't, like, if you want equality, let's make everybody equal and all equally chat shit about each other. That's how shit should go. I feel the most me when I'm fully dressed up. It's just like an expression of how I feel on the inside, on the outside. Listen, that's beautiful. And I don't want you to get it twisted. I don't care if you're straight, gay, bilingual, or you... <laughs> that outfit is at best a six out of 10. So I hope that he's still included in this discussion of one to five and not just pinned at one, but we'll have to watch and find out. I feel confident in my outfit, so I feel best dressed. Um, him in this suit, um, it looks very fresh, looks very wow. sharp. So second. This jacket is such a statement. It, <laughs> it's very, yeah, that Steelers so jacket is kind of fire, between though. Between you two, I really like how clean your shoes look. Like the the mix of the green with the little bit of navy blue on the bottom. I like the colors, so forth, and then you fit. I'll take that. So I'm gonna take the one spot for okay. myself. <laughs> I'm not mad about both of these guys already choosing themselves as number one. That's the whole point of fashion, right? You want to wear stuff that makes you personally feel nice, completely subjective. So everybody in here should be putting themselves at number one or else they're lying. Dope shoes on the bottom and it, it just doesn't really necessarily mesh for me. I would hope that people like notice the little accents. I probably didn't do exactly what I wanted to in regards to maybe jewelry. All right, this trucker hat looks like one of those hats you see in like a Facebook ad, right? You know those t-shirts that have that wall of text that they market to like 50 year old boomers because it's super relatable? Yeah, that hat reminded me of that shit. So I'm gonna just keep you at two, keep myself at three. You guys are interchangeable. You guys are both kind of in the same vibe. <laughs> You guys both are last place equally to me. I don't really care. You're both dressed like shit. Just decide four and five for yourself. Fuck this. I'm out. For me, I'm only ranking and based off of like what I would wear. Mm -hmm. I guess it just makes sense for me. Yeah. yeah. I'll say you one, go. honestly, just because, just just levels, yo. You just you just said that you're ranking based off of what you would wear, and then you pointed to that outfit and chose that as one. You're fucking capping, bro. You need to take, you need to, well no, you keep that cap on because you're, that's your full cap right now. Or alternatively, my man really is dying to wear that outfit. He just doesn't have the balls to do it. You never know what's going on through these people's heads, you know? Four and five. All right, so my man on the left here uh, has just get the raw end of the deal. He's been four or five so far through all four of these. So now he has an opportunity to bring his ball back, to take out both of his plump grapefruits, put them on the ground and be like, fuck all y'all, I'm number one. Here's what I think. Take back control of your own life, young man. Let's see what he does. One, two, I'm gonna go for three. I appreciate the suit, you know, like a James Bond type of dude. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I appreciate, I appreciate what the fuck? Oh, at number four, correct. There and you you're five. Uh, I put you there just because I feel like I look too tall. You fucking doormat, bro. Pathetic. Ranking yourself last at some shit like this isn't noble. It's not the nice thing to do. It's what fucking pussies do, all right? And for what it's worth, when I did my flash rankings in my head at the beginning, my man was mid-pack. I'll let you know near the end here. I still feel confident at being number five. You can't keep yourself at five. I like being here. <sighs> What? what? I like being last place. I like losing. I like being last place at everything I do because it's noble and humble. Listen, humility is noble and it's important in the right places, but there's a difference between humility and wanton insecurity. Can you put on your earmuffs? Here we go, baby. Bring the girls in. The women finna rearrank this. Okay, ladies, let's go. <laughs> Based on their opinion. I feel like anyone can wear a suit. <laughs> so I probably move him to like a three. Ugh, plaid suit, flood pants, loafers, boring. Anyone can do that. That rainbow sweater with a skirt and emo boots, though? She. But like, how do we feel about number one right now? I think I'm looking more for what I'm drawn to, and I'm personally just not drawn to it. I really respect his choices. It's right. just not for me personally. See, this could get interesting because the ladies, I don't think, have that same internal obligation that the gentleman felt to not dash the dreams and hopes of the person that was dressed most eccentrically when they showed up. I would probably put him at four. Okay. Can't relate. That's okay. Go for it. <laughs> Why do I can't relate? Okay. I feel like Sean just has, I mean, he has the second best outfit in the room, you know, <laughs> but like, it's just all around such a cohesive look. Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. you seen his makeup too? Oh, the red yeah. eyeliner? Gorgeous. Like, yeah. Go off. Yeah. Gorgeous. It takes like confidence to go right. out and wear what you want to wear. Yeah, so old. I really like him being number one. You know what, aside from plaid dress girl who obviously isn't a plaid flood pant guy, uh, Sean is sweeping the competition right here with the rainbow sweater. So I need to fucking rethink my angst because my man is taking home gold right now. And I just, you know what? I'm not saying it's a bad fit. It does go well together. I just didn't think he was going to be heralded as this god of 
fashion. He's like fucking Kanye West bringing in a new Yeezy brand. I really like green shirts, green shirt. You know, that sounds forced. I felt like I could just go up and talk to him and he was well dressed, but I wasn't intimidated by him, which That's I think it. is a very fine line in fashion. Can we just like notice his accessories? Can I yes. see your hands? Yeah, there's a handsome lad. Look, he got the hand rings. He's got the ring on the upper middle finger. That's super unique, right? Who wears a ring in the middle of their fucking finger? That's weird and sexy. Look at his rings. Yeah. Oh, oh I love that. that. I love rings. Look at his yeah, rings. So cute. I, think, oh, I think the like green it. shirts one for me. They mentioned Ooh. that they felt a little sexy. I see that. They're giving me cleavage. Like, it's it's cute. <laughs> what did I fucking tell you, Jether? What did I tell you, Jether? Selling yourself short right out of the gates. Number one for the ladies, bro. Stop breaking yourself at five. You're holding yourself back, Jether. Okay, two. Okay. Two. okay. Two. You're but we agree that Sean is number one. Sean, Sean, Sean can stay there. Yeah. Okay. Flowers can stay there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Flowers. What about Red Hat as five? How do we feel about I that? Think, I think that's good. Mm, it's close. I don't agree. I think, right. you know, obviously. I think Red Hat should be number three in this. You want to put suit at number four? I just, like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm quirky and I don't like trending things. <laughs> I'm quirky. You guys switch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a good medium yeah. between everybody. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What the fuck does a good medium between everybody mean? You just ranked them one through five. Worst on the left, best on the right. There's no fucking medium. The only one medium there is fucking flood pant guy. This isn't a steak, all right? It's not one big steak that's medium. You just rank them individually and fucked up their self-esteem and you have to own that. So the women's rank is done. So now we got the self rank versus the women's rank. Sean with the clean sweep in both rankings, sitting at the throne. Flood pan suit went from a two to a three with the women because as we all know, well-dressed man equals toxic masculinity. My man Jether with the biggest upgrade from five to two coming in hot. I knew when I was talking about him earlier, I hadn't seen this part yet. I knew he was shortchanging himself. He's at least a two. If it was me, I would have went green shirt Jether number one, flood pant suit guy number two, Steelers coat, number three, Sean Rainbow Sweater four, because it's nice, and, and, and Bastard's Hat's just, just not doing it for me, so he'd be at number five. A lot of thought into my outfits. I like tried to coordinate the clips, and I even got my nails done to like match the flowers. I thought about like every single detail, so maybe they noticed that, and I'm glad that they did. All right, Sean, listen. You brought the heat. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been giving you some shit, because it seemed like you were kind of pedestalized for whatever reason, but yeah, listen, you deserve number one. Take it, I don't care. You looked good, a lot of thought went into it. It's colorful, springs around the corner. Everyone's feeling good about it, man. Wear that throne with pride, baby. Sometimes I get a lot of like hate comments or some people are like confused, like, hey, you're a guy, like, why are you wearing a skirt? I'm perfectly fine with being who I am. At the end of the day, it's about you and about like what makes you happy. I totally agree with Sean, and I hope nobody confuses my criticisms earlier in the video as hate. Certainly not. I just felt it was a, they were a little quick to kind of immediately propel him to the top. It seemed a little bit fishy. I'm not saying the outfit was bad, and certainly, like I said earlier, I don't give a shit what you do, who you're into, or what you wear. This was strictly a competition based on fashion, and that's how I was judging it. I was trying to be meritocratic. The number one thing to take away here is that none of this fucking matters at all. But it's fun to watch strangers judge other strangers on the internet and then subsequently judge those strangers ourselves from the comfort of our own couch or office chair or bed where we're scrolling on our phone. Now I'm already running a bit long here so I'm not gonna have time to do the girls ranking themselves and then the guys that we just saw ranking the girls. So if you want me to do that video, please let me know by leaving a like down below. Otherwise, I'm just not gonna bother if you guys don't wanna see it. I have no idea what you guys wanna see. I just do what I think is interesting. As always, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. I would hug the tits off you if you were here right now. If you could subscribe, if you're new, that would mean the world. And one last little favor before you go, go into the fridge, grab a two liter of Mountain Dew, run out to the back porch, throw it in your neighbor's pool, immediately sprint to your car, peel out, go to your local high school, do 35 pull-ups off the field goal posts in the football field, then run inside of the school, find the chemistry lab, go inside, smash the closest beaker with your face so the glass is all over the ground, take off your shirts and pants, lie down in that shit, do 10 snow angels, and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.